And you're watching CT Style. So this is a classic Italian soup packed with tons of flavors, perfect for fall. The traveling Epicurean is here, Michelle Vehar. I feel like we could do <laughs> two segments, one on delicious dishes that sure. you cook up, and then decoration Decorations as well. are kind of my, you know, forte. Quite I love the to setup. decorate the set, right? It's so much fun. It looks it's great. Festive. What do we got to make the party festive because it all starts with the food, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, so um, we can't get rid of the summer heat, but fall <laughs> is really here. It is. It's official. <laughs> fall is here. Yeah. It's official. So I wanted to treat you guys to some um, Italian family favorites. It's pasta fagioli, okay. but uh, we also pronounce it pasta vazul. Sure. You know how words get changed around after the the years. Of course. So it's a bean and tomato and chicken stock soup. Um, it's great for the fall because it's just a warming comfort kind of food. Mm -hmm. And then we season it with bacon and pancetta, some veggies. We add in some white wine, um, some stock, and then some tomato sauce. And we let it simmer. We puree some of the beans and then we serve it with um, some crispy bread there. Well, Sounds good to me. Well, yeah, you want to get started on the bacon You're going to work, here? Scott? I, I have so. that in there. You could add in the veggies. Okay. And so this is just a medley of veggies that really gives it that layering of flavors, Doesn't right? Celery, 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 celery. Celery. <laughs> what is it called? Mirepoix. Yeah. Um, <laughs> is that what it is? Or Trinity, no? Sofrito. There's like a different name for each language. So it's basically a base <laughs> of flavors that we're All just right. going to start developing. Um, yeah. So we're going to turn that around with the bacon and we're going to let that saute for like 10 to 15 minutes. You want it to get soft because you want it to start caramelizing, right? Okay. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to deglaze with some white wine. See, it's important to go in order here because I it might just go like... It is important to go in order. Everything Jump in. everything in. You don't want to do that. <laughs> you could, but you'd have, you know, you got to cook it down in steps. Gotcha. And then this way all the flavors really develop to, to make know. this wonderful Beautiful. dish. It's simple with gourmet flavors, but you really do follow some steps there. Okay. So this would actually reduce down for about 10 or 15 minutes, but we don't have a whole lot of time. So then... We're going to pretend like this is reduced down, right? Sure. So we're going to add in the tomatoes. Okay. Now these are um, broken up whole peeled tomatoes. You're going to add two cups of that. We're going to add in the beans. Okay. And we have some garlic here. And then, Scott, you want to add in the, the chicken broth there? Yeah, you want the whole thing? Not the whole thing. Just okay. part of it because we're going to go over to the larger pot here. Gotcha. I think that looks really pretty good. It's not beautiful? That's Look great. how gorgeous that is. How long does that cook now? So now this is going to simmer for like 30 minutes to an hour even. The flavors are just going to keep developing. And so it's all good no matter, you know, if it's 30 minutes or an hour, it's okay. Okay. So then it's going to look like this. Oh, that looks Isn't amazing. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Oh, and we forgot the bouquet garnet, which is rosemary and thyme. And we tie words this up. you have. I know. What okay. can I say? One more time. <laughs> bouquet garnet. Okay, Got it. It. So that goes in there with the simmering because you want all of those yep. flavors to extract into the soup, right? So we have our soup simmering here. Oh. Then we're going to add in some sauce that has some pork chop in there. Ooh. When I start my sauce, I start it off with lots of cloves of garlic and pork chops. And then I add in the pureed tomatoes. And then it cooks until the pork is falling apart and it's fork tender. And then that goes in as well. You don't have to have the meat in there. You can keep it so it's all vegetarian. Mm -hmm. But we do like to... Um, you know, add that meat. It gives it a little extra flavor. Of course. And then we puree some of the beans. So we would take some of these beans and put them in a blender. I've already done that for you. Teresa, you want to add the beans back in there? You bet and I do. And that's just going to develop yep. a little bit of a sauce there and thickening agent. Great. So that's going to be great. And then the pasta. Is this the last that's step? That's the last step. Um, normally, I would add the pasta right in there. There's enough stock to cook the pasta. But since we're on a time crunch, you know, we're just going to add in the cooked pasta. So this it's okay. This is fantastic. Crusty Isn't that bread? gorgeous? We have to talk bread. about your Dessert well, it's National Key Lime Pie Day, and it is Joyce's birthday. So Joyce, our producer extraordinaire. I Happy birthday, Joyce! Twenty little limes for you, Joyce. Oh my goodness! <laughs> now that is love. But you need that key lime flavoring in there, so that's what that is. And there's some fresh whipped cream on top of that, and a graham cracker crust there. Amazing. And we're gonna enjoy that soup, and then we'll just pour right into this bowl here. Beautiful. And Michelle. then you serve it with the crusty bread, and then All you right. just dunk. Isn't that beautiful? Couldn't yep. be any better. Michelle, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for lunch. Amazing Joyce says job. thank you for her pie. <laughs> I was just going to invite the whole TV station down to enjoy some of this. Come on, come on down. Everybody, come on down. Right. Okay, <laughs> TravelingEpicurean.com. We'll find you there and stay with us. More style coming up right after the break. <laughs>